you always giving us the new term, reform prostitutes. I'm gonna have to add that to my list. But you know what? I've seen that in conversations because you know everything has become so transactional. You know, right. you, you hear conversations of you know uh, ladies and men, you know, talking about, hey, if you do this, I'm paying for this. <sighs> Or, you know, some ladies, you know, like Donald was saying, you got to pay for my time. That's the same thing that prostitutes say. So that's why that term is floating around like that. And I said, there's some validity to it. Uh, let's see. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, um, to speak to Jocelyn asking about the men side of it, that is one comment I have about the men. Right. Then she make a valid point. You know, when you say um, some men don't mind paying. You know, because they're not paying for you to stay, they're paying for you to leave. Okay, then here's the it's a it's a two-edged sword though, right? Because y'all can't be saying stuff like that. And I don't mean the men on this panel, but y'all can't be saying stuff like that. And then when you wake up and all you have around you are women that want to take advantage of you, and there's there's not enough women of substance that really are intentional and really want your time and really want to be with you because the Part of the problem is men are responding to this kind of behavior. There are men who are responding to it. There are men who are going for it. There are men, like you said, they paying for her to leave. So they're like, whatever, I don't care. It's a small thing to, you know, it's, it's nothing, you know. But the problem with that is now it's making women think, okay, this is okay. And it's okay for me to have these expectations. And it's okay for me to make these demands. And now where are all the women that, just want to really genuinely get to meet you, want to genuinely date, want to, you know, because they're looking for a real relationship. That's that's the problem with that, though. So I feel like men sometimes need to decide as well. Pick where you're at and just make a decision because we can't tell women y'all need to pick a side. Y'all can't you can't say this. And then the next day say that we have to say the same thing to men like men got to get on cold. All men need to get on call and decide how they want this to go. If you want the sh you want a shift to happen in the mindset of women about how we look and how we date y'all and how we approach dating and all of that, then you guys can't be going for this foolishness. You got to shut it down. That's real. No, that's real right there. Go ahead, Vince. Well, I think the thing about it is too that, that men put women in categories. We have the ones that we want to play with. We are the ones that we want to marry. So it depends on where you want to fall into that category. And some women will feel like, look, I don't really want to be bothered. So, you know, I'm going to get him for what he's good for. And if it lasts a couple months, it lasts a couple months. You know, it depends on what you're looking for. It depends on what your intentions are. If you're intentional by like, look, I'm looking for something serious, then you're going to look for something serious. If you're looking for something just for the right now, a lot of men say it's easier just to go ahead because at the end of the day, I won't be bothered with her thinking that, you know, I want to be in a relationship or do this. So I just want, I just want it for the night. I think, you know, I'm just keeping it 100. I just want it for the night. And if you die with it, then you die with it. So if your intentions is different, you know, because it's, you know, that's just my experience. And then when men get ready to find a wife, they find a wife. And women, some women can turn that switch off and say, like, look, okay, I'm tired of dating out here. I'm ready to settle down. But see, it's different for men because we just have more time to play. It just mm. is what it is. We just have more time to play and, and get it together. That's real. That's real right there. That's real right there. Let me uh, get some more of these comments. People people need to, uh, it, it, at the end of the day, people do what they want to do. That's what it is, you know, and I think a lot of it is just a lot of gaslighting, a lot of just we just dance around. We say this, we say that we make excuses or explanations or reasons. People just do what they want to do at the end of the day. If you want to be, be if you want to date multiple women, just say that that's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? If you want to date multiple men, just say, you know, instead of just saying, you know, it's the dating pool is this and that. No, you you want you you just want to be out here. But, you know, if you're really serious, if you're really serious about somebody, you'll those I mean, if you believe in a guy, because I mean, then you know that there's he's throwing he's throwing that person around you whenever the time comes when you need it. And so when you have that thing inside of you in your heart and your spirit, you feel you want to be like you want to settle down, you want to have a family, this and that. Opportunities are gonna come. They're gonna be there. You just have to see it. You have to grab it 
You know what I'm saying? You have to stop looking at all the other things. And also, you got at the same time, you got to take your blinders off. You know what right. I'm saying? And so it's just, you just got to have a little more faith in that. You got to have a little more trust in, in, the, in people. You got to just got to do right by people, too. You know, just got to just appreciate what it is. It's like, and all that material stuff, all the, like, the inner, like, the entertaining things like we were talking about a little earlier and this and that, like all that stuff is just like, it's just garbage. You're supposed to be able to be able to sit in a, sit in a room with, with nothing going on with that person and you straight. They don't, right. you know, they don't need to be, you, you should never be saying something like, Oh, this is getting old. I'm getting bored of this. So I'm getting tired of this. I need some excitement. If you need some excitement. Okay. Do something then. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's create some excitement for the two of you, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I just feel again. People just do what they want to do. They do what they want to do at the end of the day. Um, uh, dating. The last stuff that we we're talking about about all, about all the messed up things about dating, like somebody said earlier, that's just that's not dating. You know, dating is.